This episode is called Roar of the Red Ranger. It starts off in Heckle's ship where Fury is telling him about his new plan to get the Energems, and he isn't buying any of it. But as for Singe, who was eavesdropping, he mentions using a monster by the name of Ninja to use a computer virus that'll disrupt the Ranger's weapons. And Heckle is all for it. So good for Singe and bad for Fury. And outside, Tyler is with his friends, and he is looking for a certain place on a map that he drew when he was five years old, where he and his dad used to go camping. He then finds the place, digs it up, and finds a box full of memories, such as letters, photos, etc. And his friends reassure him that his father will eventually turn up. He then does some training in the form of target practice, but since his father is on his mind, he isn't fully focused. Heckle's monster ninja then shows up, installs the virus into Kendall's computer, and manages to get away without being seen. Shelby then expresses her concern about Tyler wanting to check other places on where his dad could be, but sadly he got very upset, took off running, got ambushed by ninja, and just when it seemed like it was the end for him, the aqua ranger came to the rescue and fought him off. But once Tyler came to, the both of them left as fast as they came. The rangers then later head to the command center, and Kendall is discussing how only Tyler will be able to use the T-Rex supercharge mode. He then shows up, telling the others what happened, Keeper offers some words of wisdom, and then it came time for Tyler to test out his new T-Rex supercharge mode. But once he tried using it, the virus that Heckle's monster installed took effect, and he starts acting like a real T-Rex. The other rangers tried to help, but there wasn't much they could do. They then regroup in the command center, and Kendall discovers the virus that was planted in her computer that corrupted the T-Rex supercharger, and she looks to make a new one to help Tyler, while the other rangers look for him. But in the process, the rangers end up fighting two different monsters, while Chase in the meantime was looking for Tyler. He eventually finds him, and he right away uses the dino hypnotized charger that Kendall made, but it didn't have much of an effect on him. And this is where we see the Aqua Ranger show up again, and he is revealed as James Navarro, who is none other than Tyler's father. He then breaks free, father and son unite, and all is well. And to those wondering why his dad looks so young, that's because the Energem he bonded to stopped him from aging, like with Koda and Ivan's Energems. They then help the other Rangers. Tyler uses the clean version of the T-Rex Supercharger, morphing into T-Rex Supercharge mode, and he was able to bring down Ninja single-handedly. Heckle then uses the Magna Beam. The Rangers summon their Zords, going Dino Superdrive. And that is yet another Monster Extinct. And the episode ends with the Rangers discussing what happened, Shelby and Tyler bonding once again, and James catching up with his son. No, he didn't give much of an explanation on why he had to stay in hiding for 10 years, but I'm pretty sure we'll get more details in the next episode. Also, about Rusty, I'm not really sure what to say about his character, aside from the fact that he was on the same expedition as James was. He was wearing a silver-ish colored shirt, but I don't think he's going to be a ranger anytime soon, but maybe in the future? It's too early to tell. James comes off like a cool character, but I have a feeling that he too will be a part-time ranger, and he'll become Kendall's assistant in the command center. Either that, or he'll just disappear for no reason like Prince Philip did. Hashtag be cheap. For now anyway. This is Dino Supercharge after all, so we will eventually get explanations on everything. Do I know that for sure? Not really. What do you guys think? Did you enjoy the episode? And do you think that James will be a good ranger? Let me know. And until next time, this is John from Mr. Weenie Productions signing out.